Some bits grew bigger and some bricks grew smaller. That's, the, that's exactly right. That's kind of what your schoolmate was saying in the front, that some galaxies have bigger sizes and smaller sizes. But what you have pointed out is something very important, that because the universe started 13.8 billion years ago, there were no stars, no galaxies at the beginning. And the first stars and galaxies then came into being from gravity. Gravity gathered material together, made stars, made galaxies. And those galaxies have got bigger and bigger over time because they have some galaxies have swallowed other galaxies. Gravity, they come close to each other. One galaxy will grab the other one, and this galaxy gets bigger. So I'll write my first name today. You write your first name. One, two, three. Maybe if you speak with the microphone, then everybody else can hear your question. You said that uh, light takes some time to reach our eyes. Yes. So if it's very far away, we'll, uh, we'll be missing the past. Exactly. So what if, uh, say, the sun has some um, explosion or something? So would we be seeing past? Or would we be seeing the same time as the sun is exploding? Ah, uh, that's a very good question. So we will see, if the sun explodes now, it will take eight minutes before we see that happen. Okay? Well, actually, it's even, even crazier than that, because the sun in the middle, we make all the heat and light in the middle of the sun, and that comes to us. But it takes actually thousands of years for the heat and light to come out of the star, even before it comes across space. So the sun could have died a thousand years ago in the middle, and we would not know. Not from the light and the heat. We would know for other reasons. We would see other particles coming. We would know. So yes, it takes eight minutes before we would know. So these galaxies and these old stars, some of them have already died and disappeared. 